Joining us on the phone from the National Weather Service, your friend and ours, uh, Matt Friedline. Good morning. Good morning, Charles. How are we doing today? Well, in good spirits, and for those who want a white Christmas, they should be in good spirits as well. Yeah, thank you guys so much, by the way. Kudos to the National Weather Service for guaranteeing a white Christmas this year. Uh, Thanks. I know you, you guys worked <laughs> long and hard to make that happen. Uh, let's talk about this impending storm. Uh, first off, does it have a name? This one is not named, at least by us, in the uh, National Weather Service. Yeah, okay. the nameless this one. So, so we could name it. I mean, honestly, you could, yeah, I think WGLC, we should officially name this storm. Hmm. I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to call it Grinchy. Oh, I like that one. Grinchy, the winter storm. Uh, what time? I, I know we, we are going to see some snow maybe overnight, but that's not really going to impact travel, right? That's correct. There may be a little bit in the, the pre-dawn hours, but uh, that will pick up tomorrow morning and uh, into the afternoon and into the evening as well. So really that... 9 a.m. through midnight time is the main snowfall time of this system. But uh, as we as meteorologists say, the actual amount of snowfall is only one part of a winter storm. And for this one, it's a secondary or even tertiary aspect of the storm. This one is the winds and the cold. Those are the two big uh, factors here. And, and as we know, in north central Illinois, when, when the winds really pick up, even with just a couple inches of snow, uh, and that's powdery, fluffy snow, it's going to blow. It's going to blow a lot and really reduce visibility later in the day tomorrow, all the way through Friday, Friday night, and, and probably into the day on Christmas Eve. Well, I have plans Friday to drive to work uh, wearing shorts, sandals, with about a tenth of a tank of gas. Is that something you would recommend? Top down to you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, def- definitely top down, windows down. <laughs> do you, every for the listeners there do the exact opposite of what Charles uh, is planning. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be uh, a lot of it's going to be. You need to be prepared to uh, find yourself parked in the ditch. Fill the gas do tank. It. Make sure you have exactly, water and blankets. Yep. So yep, well said. Yep, and and this is really the the, the first significant. Uh, shot of cold air and blowing snow of the winter, too. So that makes it a little more uh, risky. And then, of course, it's inconvenient. It's uh, right before Christmas uh, and travel and holiday gatherings and get-togethers. So it's it's inconvenient in that sense, too. So a lot of people may raise their threshold a little bit. But uh, this is, can become life-threatening because the temperatures uh, tomorrow start the day near 30 degrees, and they'll be about three degrees by 6 p.m., and then we'll go below zero by 8 p.m., and we will stay below zero air temperature all the way until like noon on Saturday, uh, and let alone the wind chill of 30 to 35 below there all, all throughout Friday and Friday night. So uh, again, you, you just want to be prepared. Um, and while we say have the car prepared, that's of course we want that. We also recommend the travel uh, you know, try trying to avoid that, uh, especially as the day goes on tomorrow and definitely tomorrow night, Thursday night, and uh, into the day Friday. If you have alternate plans, if you can, uh, this is going to be one of those times, even though the total snowfall only looks to be two to four inches or so across north central Illinois, uh, just because of the degree of blowing snow and the degree of temperature drop, it's, it's good to uh, uh, use those alternate flexible plans if you have them. So on behalf of everybody who has to work on Friday, could you be the expert that tells people if you can work from home, you should? You got it. One of the uh, aspects we've learned from the past few years, uh, yeah, this would be one of those days uh, on Friday and even uh, tomorrow afternoon as things head downhill uh, to to consider that. It it may look like a snow squall for a period uh, tomorrow uh, as those temperatures start to plunge, the winds pick up, and the snow is falling. Uh, that, that, that visibility could really go down quickly. So uh, we are under a winter storm watch in LaSalle County. There's warnings out to our west. Um, we can expect that we'll probably head to warnings, and I, I would certainly expect the aspect of, of blizzard conditions, at least temporarily and probably prevailing in the country, um, whether it be ground blizzard or kind of full-out blizzard for, for periods. And those north-south roads will be especially vulnerable because the winds are going to be out of the west. So you think about 251, I-39 in parts, uh, it's going to become challenging there uh, by uh, tomorrow night. 
Matt Friedline joining us from the National Weather Service. Uh, you guys have been watching this storm for a while. Is there anything surprising about this uh, one that's coming through, or is this sort of a textbook uh, north central Illinois freezing blizzard? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, this has been on on the radar, so to say, for a while. And uh, there were times where it looked like it could have a significant amount of snow, but we knew as meteorologists to be cautious with that five, six, seven days out. But one striking aspect of this has been the wind. Uh, it has been very consistent. This is going to be uh, very windy and, and bring in our Arctic air mass. Uh, and uh, and we also haven't had one of those this early in the season in, in, in a while. And in the days leading up to Christmas, a big travel time, you really have to go back all the way to 2008, the last time we've had impacting weather uh, like this in the days leading up to Christmas. Again, it's not a significant amount of snow, but it will be at least ground blizzard conditions there. Uh, and you have to go back that far uh, since we've had weather on these bu- busy travel days leading up to Christmas. Is there any risk of icing in this storm or just the winds themselves? You know, a good question. Yeah, the precipitation should be all snow, but because of the temperature plunge, some of that first snow tomorrow, again, we start 30 degrees or snow or so, That'll probably melt on the road, especially the treatments out there. It'll it'll melt at first, but then that'll quickly freeze as the temperatures go far below uh, freezing, uh, again, down to zero by tomorrow evening when it'll still be snowing. So road treatments, uh, they're just going to become ineffective. Uh, you get too, too cold that even different uh, concoctions, so to say, of road treatments will not will not work when you get that cold in the single digits and below zero, So, let alone the blowing snow. So you'll get icy conditions on the road just because of the, the snow on there, and it, it'll, it'll be a mess out there. We've touched on making sure you're prepared if you have to travel in your car, uh, but let's be real, with the winds and everything else, we could be looking at power outages, especially in rural areas. Yeah, wind gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour can do that, namely because of the duration of, of them. Those types of gusts we, we expect from uh, late afternoon tomorrow all the way through the day Friday. So we're talking about 24 hours of that. And in the past when that's occurred, we have gotten some, some you know scattered power outages. Thankfully, the snow is not heavy and wet, uh, so it won't collect on the lines. But because of the duration of those winds, that could happen. So you want to think about at home what you do if the power did go out with such a degree of cold coming in, what, what are the, uh, the options uh, there uh, with that? Obviously, the ultimate is, is having a, a generator in that, but be prepared with the, the candles and blankets and, and that and, uh, and, and think about what you do for a potentially alternate uh, nearby place in the neighborhood uh, if that uh, happens that you may be able to go to or family in town that you'd be able to, be able to spend uh, the time with. Matt Friedline from the National Weather Service giving us the update on the winter storm that's coming. So, again, snow starts falling overnight tonight. Uh, What time do you think is going to be the time where you should just put the keys back on the hook and leave the car in the driveway? Yeah, some point in the uh, afternoon, tomorrow into the evening, that'll happen. That's still one of the uncertainties yet is, is the timing of when things will go rapidly downhill uh it it looks like it would be midday in in north central illinois and i i just think by after sunset uh tomorrow that things will be uh be bad at that point we'll have snowed enough again not a significant amount but enough with the winds coming in and that degree of cold that road conditions will be nearly impossible to uh fight for our road crews and uh it'll just become pretty pretty darn bad out in the country um and so uh, it can become life-threatening i think a lot of us think about six to ten inches of snow or 12 plus inches to be a big dangerous winter storm but uh this will be even worse than six to ten inches at 30 degrees two to three inches with 50 mile per hour winds for 24 hours and temperatures dropping below zero that's a worse combination by far than than what i mentioned uh, formerly there So Matt Friedline, National Weather Service, use caution if you have to travel, refrain from it, and uh, don't play hide-and-go-seek on Friday afternoon. Especially if you're wearing white. Yeah, outdoors. Uh, Timely advice. Thank you so much. We'll be in touch as this thing moves on. You bet, Charles. Thank you for calling.